So today it's Sunday. Uh, it's Sunday morning right now. It's actually August bank holiday is Sunday. And while everyone else around uh, is preparing to go out uh, drinking, partying, as most people do on a bank holiday Sunday, I am heading down to the gym, to the combat room to get some training in. And I'm pretty excited this morning because, um, in fact, first of all, before I even get into that, thank you to the lads for, it's not only summer leave, like I said, it's Sunday as well now, and a couple of them are giving up their time to come in and help me train. But what's pretty exciting is that this is going to be my first ever no gi session. Um, now, I guess people that don't know anything about jujitsu, I'll quickly explain what that means. Those of you that do, you know, I'm not teaching you to suck eggs, but obviously the gi, for those that are uninitiated, is the the suit, the uniform that we wear, if you like. And um, then there's no gi. So when you're rolling in the gi, you've got your, your trousers, for me, shorts, and your jacket with your rash guard underneath. For no gi, we'll just be wearing shorts. That includes the guys, the able-bodied guys, as well. they'll be in shorts, and just a rash guard. Which means there's, particularly for me in my situation, a lot less to grab. You know, I rely quite a lot on getting grips on the gi um, wherever I can, not only to, you know, potentially submit people, but to move. Uh, where some people use their feet to, to push and drive to get into another position, generally I'll grab the gi and, and yank from my arm. So this one is going to be interesting. I'm going to be very, very limited in my options, but what excites me is... I think it's a train hard, fight easy mentality because I've got so much less to use now, uh, so much less at my disposal. I'm going to be forced to either work harder or work smarter. Either way, whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to learn a lot. And I think by limiting my resources, training no gi, I'm hoping that when I do train again with a gi and when my opponent is training with a gi, it's just going to open my mindset, change my mind. I'm going to see a lot more. I'm going to be able to utilize a lot more. And hopefully this is going to be something that I can use regularly just to train my mind more and, and open it up and give me the, the opportunity to see more opportunities. So I'm going to head down there now, um, see what this is all about. And I'll report back once I'm done. Just very quickly before I go. I don't know how effective this is going to be, but listen to this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but starting the GTR from cold, this baby roars. But like I said in the last video, more about this later. This is another interest, passion of mine, cars, bikes, boats, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll do other videos on that and I'll show you guys how I drive, use one hand um, and all that cool stuff. All right, so this is what I mean by no gi. Uh, normally, obviously, you'd have your gi jacket, your belt, pair of shorts for me, trousers of somebody else, and a, and a rash guard. But with no gi, this is it. Rash guard, shorts. So like I said, a lot less to hold on to, a um, lot less to play with, but we see how it goes, we'll figure it out. That didn't pan out. Now oh, I hoped it would. Um, I think I actually got some footage of it, but I got slammed hard down on on my right femur. I am currently sat here, still in the combat room, just waiting for an ambulance to turn up. Um, praying that I haven't fractured my femur. It, it hurts like fuck. Um, I don't feel sick anymore. I did. Uh, when it happened, it was <laughs> extremely painful. I nearly passed out. Um, but I think it's safe to say that I am out of that competition that I was training for because there's no way this will. I mean, it's, it's, this is agony. Absolute agony. I know I'll maybe 
calm when I'm saying this, but it hurts like shit right now. This ambulance, I've been waiting for over an hour now to go and get this x ray. Um, it is what it is. So the diagnosis is in and uh, what I've done is chip the end of my femur bone. So the good news is it isn't broken and it isn't fractured, but a shard probably about the size of uh, my thumbnail uh, has come off the bottom of the bone and is floating around effectively in the bottom of my leg. Now. I'm, I'm just sitting here chilling out in, in the bakery waiting to get picked up and head home. But from what I've been told, I need to come back here Thursday. I'm going to see the military orthopedic team and then they're going to discuss my options. Uh, what I've been told so far is I can either, hopefully, I can either just rest, let it heal like my hand did, and then it knits itself back together and we're good to go. I know that sounds a little bit far-fetched, like how's your bone just gonna float back and reconnect to your bone, but it worked with my hand, so I don't see why not. Or the other option is uh, surgery, where they'll cut open my leg, they'll remove the bone shard, and then we'll go from there. Now, I don't wanna have surgery, um, so hopefully that will not be the case. But, as I've been sat here thinking about it, I have already seen earlier in the year some surgeons about getting surgery on my left leg. My left leg is is a mangled mess where shrapnel tore off all the inside of my thigh, up the back of my leg. So it's basically half of it is has got flesh in it, half of it is just pure muscle. So it's susceptible to infections, uh, breakdowns, and, and injury and stuff like that, which has happened in the past. And they told me that as I get older, obviously my body is less able to fight off infections, and you know it just it, the skin integrity breaks down and it becomes a little bit weaker. So I'd already proactively seen surgeons about potentially getting surgery to fix that, which is very easy. They're just going to take a lump of flesh off the top of my right thigh and then slap it onto my left thigh, um, effectively. So. I'm running through scenarios in my head and potentially if it is the worst case that I have to have surgery to have the bone fragment removed from my right leg, then at the same time what I guess I'll do is try and schedule in the surgery on my left leg as well. So I'm in there, double tap it, get them both done, spend the however many months recovering and then kill two birds with one stone effectively. Um, you know, well, I mean, it's obvious, the, the, the fight's off, the tournament's off, I cannot, uh, I can't compete now. If it was just a bruise, then I would have iced it, you know, the usual rest, ice compression, all those mnemonics and that boring stuff. Uh, and it got back amongst it, but the fact is, it's a little bit worse than that, so I'm gonna have to make the necessary calls now to unfortunately pull out of the tournament and just rest, which I'm, I'm not angry about it, I'm actually just really gutted about it. So, that's where we stand. Ah, a friend of mine's just turned up, so I'll call it a day there, um, but I'll keep you up to date with how we progress.